Right? Steve Kennedy, just say hello. Steve just Kennedy, say hello to, hi guys. to all the people. Steve, Steve senior Kennedy, pro, Steve senior Kennedy. pro. Have you ever thrown your paddle before, Steve Kennedy? I'm Joey with Tony from Into Pickle. <laughs> That's right, Into Pickle. How you doing, Joey? And I want to talk about sandbagging. Oh, now, sandbagging, where the PPA, do you think a lot of people sandbag, or do you think it's just a couple people? And sandbagging, if you're not sure what it is, it's if you're a 4-0 and you play 3-5 in an event. Or if you're a 3-8 and you're playing 3-5, I wouldn't call it sandbagging, no. hmm. but again, are you sandbagging? What's your opinion on that? I think, you know, sandbagging, Joey, is definitely a, an issue, right, that we have to deal with sure. uh, in tournaments. And the bigger the tournament, Usually, the more the sandbagging. I always tell players like, if you got a if you got a four zero medal like at, at the U.S. Open or yeah. something like that, that's a that's a like a crazy four zero medal. Unless you're a four five playing down, right? Because usually sure. the players that are there are the higher level players. But I, sandbagging happens for sure. I've taped a lot of four zero matches, and I'm like, those are like four five five zero players. Yeah. I don't know if I can beat them. And like you said, bigger tournaments. They tend to have better competition. Yep. People play down in bigger tournaments. I think you should play down at home. What are your views? I think I think the reality is that if it, it, here's what's oh, it's hard, Joey. So let's say I don't sandbag, right? Yeah. But everybody else sandbags. Then then I get hosed, right? So it's kind of like hosed, right? right. So I think it's going to be something. I really think it's going to have to be something where the the tournament directors get a little more proactive in terms of making sure that that's not happening, right? Where you got like you know, four fives playing four zero and stuff like that. Sure. Because I think it starts to mess up the whole tournament, um, the feel of the tournament, you know what I mean, for players. Absolutely. Now, the, where you and I are playing right now, because we're playing at the higher levels, Yeah. It, there's not really sandbagging because, and not as much, because, you know, if you're playing pro, you see it more like you're right in the three five four zero area where you get four O's or four five even. Where you, I mean, four zero where four fives play four zero, four O's play three five, right? All the time, yeah. right? Yeah. Now, my opinion on that, it's not the sandbagger's fault. I never take responsibility. What I'm saying is, I think Duper, D-U-P-R, I think it's artificially inflated right now in relation to UTPR. What are your views? I, I would think, I think so. I, I haven't really followed too much on the rating. Sure. Uh, the, I don't know if there's a ratings battle or something. Ratings you know, battle. But ratings yeah. battle's on. Ratings battle. But, <laughs> yeah, but you know, the, the, it's interesting to see the discrepancies in the, in the rating system. The other thing that can happen, Joey, is where you have players who are really like four fives, but they've self-rated 4-0 or whatever, and it messes up our ratings, because like, what happens is- if, True, if you, that's if actually we, a good point. If we win that match, right, we don't get any credit. Like on our rating doesn't move at all, move yeah, a little with bit. The but if you it, lose that match, you get crushed. You get crushed. Well, your, your ratings get crushed. Your ratings get crushed, you're completely right. How do you fix that? It's again. It's uh, it's uh, it's gonna have to wash itself out over time. The problem is we have so many new players coming in, right? I think some of them rate themselves in good faith. I think some rate themselves maybe not in good faith. So I'd suggest, hey, look sure. at your heart. And I think some people are naturally gonna think they're better. Some people are naturally gonna think they're worse, right? Steve Kennedy, just say hello. Steve just Kennedy, say hello to, hi guys, to all the people. Steve, Steve senior Kennedy, pro, Steve senior Kennedy. pro. Have you ever thrown your paddle before, Steve Kennedy? Putting you on the on spot. On the spot. <laughs> um, before or after? So, I think that's a yes. <laughs> I, I, have, I have thrown my paddle, but after you throw it, you recognize you shouldn't have done it. And that's you apologize. It. I love Steve so, Kennedy. Steve, you're the best. Thanks, Steve, guys. Good to see you. See you at the goal. My views on rating systems. I think it's too much about the money. Duper just got PPA. Yep. APP just went with UTR. UTR is not the same as UTPR, right. or whatever you want to call it. And the World Pickleball rating, too. Remember, there's another one, too. Inside, w inside WPR USA Pickleball. is pretty accurate, yeah. but I just don't think a lot, enough people adopt it, right? Yeah. So it's all about the Benjamins, yeah. right? How do you fix it? You know, the rating, well, that's where the governing bodies are so important. And what's interesting to me now, I know we're getting a little off topic, but I'll, I'll raise it. Yeah. Is you have USA Pickleball is still the governing body of Pickleball, right? Yes. But the power of the PPA and their ability to influence decision making is going to grow as they continue to accumulate assets. Sure. That almost become a monopoly. They yeah. bought Pickleball Central. Pickleball Thomas Dundon. I've never met him. I'm sure he's an awesome guy, sure right? You know, Pickleball tournaments. So they're really going for this monopoly, right? Yeah. MLP. Yep. Don't forget Microsoft. MLP. MLP. Yeah. Now the MLP, did they buy MLP? My understanding, I, I watched uh, the other day, you know, Adam uh, Stone and Rob Nunnery have their podcast. Uh, yeah, that's cool. They were talking about, yeah, it's a good podcast. They were talking about a 25% interest is what they bought. 25% interest in the MLP. MLP right? Interesting. Yeah. That's what they I that's didn't know that. Talking. I don't know that personally, but that's what I heard. So. What? You, we learned something. Hey, <laughs> Joey I, didn't know he was going to be breaking news. Breaking news. <laughs> <laughs> Here's my, I'm going to give you my, my two cents on this. Two cents. If you, two cents. If you, 
you got to look in the mirror and decide like how important, how valuable is this medal to you? If you're just crushing everybody and you get a gold medal, you know, I just don't think that that's something that you should be like crazy proud about. If you play against your level competition yeah. and you grind that thing out, you get that bronze, silver, gold, or even fourth place, it doesn't matter. Yeah, I mean. That you go home and you go, I did good. You know, I, mean, I battled. Yeah, are you really going to keep a bronze medal? You might. I've lost a lot of my medals, but they mean a lot to me, right. but it's not about the medal. Right. It's about the competition. It's yeah. about going out there and battling. You know, there, there's this trilogy called Compete, Learn, Honor, right? And honoring is actually the most important principle in that book. Uh, Joey's reading this book right now. Send him a, right in the comments. Right in the comments. Ask Joey what chapter are you on, and he'll tell you. But, I'm an uh, honest guy. You you're going to read it for sure. Yeah, yeah. You're going to read it for yeah. sure. But I want them to know that you're because they heard that on my video, not your video. So they don't know you're reading the book. Now they know you're reading Check the book. Check out Into Pickle. Yeah, they will. Yeah. But Compete, Learn, Honor is, is talks about these principles. And honoring the game and competing at your level is so important as part of Pickleball. So I would just tell you, it's you're an adult. Look in the mirror. Check yourself when you stand back. I'm looking at the mirror in the mirror. I don't like them. No, I'm just joking. So subscribe to Into Pickle. We're going to have more segments with Tony, and Tony's awesome. So don't forget to have a good day.